You're supposed to be the offensive genius. And when did you turn into Bill Parcell? Suddenly you have a team that over the last five games, your defense, 57 total drives, two touchdowns allowed, 13 turnovers for 17 sacks, and allowing a total QBR of 20.2. This is an elite defense. Can you give me a, a, a few thoughts on how it is this defense is playing? Well, I, listen, I think I think you hit on a number of, uh, of, of, of key statistics. I, I would say early in the season, we were defending the run well, um, but we were giving up some chunk plays in the passing game. Our red zone defense struggled, really struggled, and our third down numbers weren't particularly great either. But midseason, probably Chicago, it might have been the week before, um, you know, we started seeing – the red zone stops. Tampa Bay was was a, a real good plan, and, and those guys did a fantastic job. And so there's a little bit of this confidence that comes from demonstrated ability. And, and it's you can you can wish for it or hope or or kind of pound your chest that you're confident. But once you start actually doing it, I, I think that, that can that can mean something. And we're actually watching that right in front of our eyes. Um, our players are healthy. We, we've had a couple injuries at corner, but we've been able to get through some games with that. And then Quan Alexander, we acquired right before the trade deadline. So, Mike, there's a handful of things that contribute to it, but definitely we're playing at a high level now. And 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 back to calling plays, it's much easier offensively when you're playing that way defensively. Yeah, and and it's a fascinating dynamic because of the way the season has gone for the second straight year you know, having to play these games and win them without Drew. And, and, and so let's go there then. Over the last two seasons, you've now played eight games without a first ballot big room Hall of Famer, and you're 8-0. What does that say about your team? Well, look, I, I, when it happened back last season and we lost Drew after the Ram game, we were all in Seattle. And, you know, there's that immediate feeling like, well, Teddy's going to have to be, you know, this, this, and this, when actually we all just have to do our jobs and, and Teddy's job will be just fine if, if we do that. And so th there is a little bit more of a, an intra focus on each individual. And then, you know, we're not going to replicate or replace exactly what Drew did in a game. Now we're going to count on these other things and we're going to utilize the things that Teddy Bridgewater does well, or Taysom Hill does well. And we've been able to do that. And I, I think, look, the main thing for that quarterback position and Parcells used to say it all the time is to win and to win and to win again. And, mm. and, and that's their job. And, and so that means protecting the football. That means trying to lead your team to score, score enough points. Um, but certainly a quarterback's greatest ally can be a good defense. And, and a second one can be a good running game. Sean Payton is with me here on ESPN Radio. We're presented by Progressive Insurance. He is on the Shell Pennzoil performance line. You know, so so you had Teddy Bridgewater last year who stepped in and played the game very similarly to the way Drew Brees does. This year, you go in a very different direction. And, and Taysom Mill has done what you just said he needed to do. He's won these games. So relative to what your expectation for him was so far through these three games, how has he played? I think this, Mike, I think this past week, was a was a big measuring stick for us. I I think look the, the week one win he started off a little slow. I mean obviously there was a lot of pressure on him and then he he really finished well. I don't think we can even take a look at week two because of the, the situation with Denver's quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. You know, we just changed how we were going to play that game with them lining up a, a practice squad receiver at quarterback. Um, but two days ago the third down numbers and how he functioned on third down, third and long, third and 10. Um, I think he was nine of 13. You know, ultimately in this league, regardless of your ability to run or move out of the pocket, you're going to have to make plays behind the center and you're going to have to make them standing in the pocket. And he did that the other day. That was impressive. John Payton is with me again, uh, brought to us today by Zebra Technologies, and we'll explain that in just a couple of minutes. I, I am curious. This is a season that is different from any in the history of the sport. Well, in so many ways it is, but but one of them is that there's only one bye this year. So your team has clinched a playoff spot, but there's obviously a lot more to do. How does that change affect the way you go about planning the rest of your season? 
That's a good question. I, I don't know. I don't know that clinching a playoff spot did anything for us when we heard that news. I, I don't, I don't think we knew that, Oh, Chicago needed to lose or whatever. I mean, I, our first immediate thought always as a goal is, Hey, win the division. And then the second one is, you know, get the best possible seed you can get because there's, there's a number of pluses about that. Now, the thing unique this year, I think, Mike, honestly, I know there's only one by seed, but, but I would say, look, all season long, the road team's winning more this year than ever before because they're not having to deal with the road noise, the penalties, the false starts, the challenges normally when you go on the road. I mean, mm-hmm. each environment you play in, home or away, is much the same. It's, it's, it's like a very sterile, quiet. I mean, you, you get some ambient noise. And so uh, I, I think the one will be valued more simply – from a rest and recovery standpoint than it would be, uh, we got to go into this venue and play and we can't hear and we can't, you, you know? So I, I think that, uh, yeah, I think our job, our job right now is focusing on, you know, winning this division and then, and then trying to get the one seat. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN plus.